Hey there guys and welcome back to another World of Tanks replay this time it's not me playing for once the first time ever you can see my tank is right there in fact my friend that I play quite a lot on this game Dimitri Brown or Trey if you want to call him that but uh, as you can see this is a tier 6 game he's in his type T34 which I believe he's only played a couple of games at this point I'm in my M5 M1 Stuart I was considering going up this line but then I kind of just gave up but yeah, we're getting all the replay now. But yeah, this was uh, Trey's first ever Top Gun and um, what do you call it? Ace Tanker badge, that's the one. But yeah, the replay is of course going to be from his perspective and seeing how he plays, which will be interesting. I mean, he did. It was it was a pretty funny game at the time. This was a replay from like three weeks ago, two well at least three weeks ago, maybe a month if even. And it's pretty damn funny. I went on the right, and I mean the M5 on Stuart's a good tank as well. It has a pretty good penetration compared to like the M5 Stuart, which is terrible. But right now, as you can see, Trey's going towards the middle of the map. This is a uh, encounter battle, and uh, I'm not sure if he has the 57 millimeter. I think he does. Yeah, he has 57 millimeter. So 85 damage, 112 pen, and 189 on the premium rounds. But uh, the one good thing about this gun is its DPM. Its DPM is insane. It's like every two and a half seconds or something like that. I don't know because the cross their mod I use bugs out and replays, which is just fucking stupid. But it's uh, a very good gun. Especially if someone's trying to out DPM you at close range, you can just absolutely destroy them. As you see right now, he's found the F3304, which is one of the most annoying artilleries in this game because it fires so damn fast. It's just like... And he actually has view range cap on this time. I'm not sure if that's just a bug with the replay system. It might be, because that's pretty good view range for a tier 5 medium, considering I know he didn't have any equipment on the tank. Because this, this was a while ago. I mean, he has about he has over like 1,100 games now. But this is when he only had about 500, so... See, he keeps missing those, getting pretty unlucky with leading his shots. Sometimes that happens to me. It's just the game. But now he's engaging the M6, which he's finding it quite hard to pen. And he does have the same zoom in rod as me, but he's not going to pen the front of that tank. Not with his standard rounds anyway. If he loaded APCR, he would pen on by I me. Mean, doing 85 damage a shell with an APCR shot, it's like... It's a lot of fucking money. It's a couple of grand a shot. It's pretty bad. I have no idea why he stopped shooting the KV-1 then. God knows, he's pretty lucky to pull that shot off there on the M6. Pretty sketchy getting it through the side of there. You can see right now, he's almost on 500 damage. I have, in fact, died to all of these guys rushing around here. I mean, I did pretty good. I did about 500 damage as well in that little tank, which I was like... Hmm. Which I thought, that's pretty good. The light tank. Right now, I'm telling Trey, yeah, there's a shit ton of guys rushing on the right flank, so... You might want to turn around and try to stop him, because there's no point in you rushing that M7 with the rest of your team, because... You're not going to get anything for it. And the FU-304 telling us to cap, it's like... Can't really, it's encounter, it takes a lot longer. And they're going to come bombing around the corner, but this is where the game gets really, really, really stupid and funny. Like, the rest of the enemy... That come around the corner, they're really not good, they are pretty much damn terrible, if anything. And it's just funny what they do. How they don't hurt him at all. Like this guy fires a heat round, which like you know if you fire heat, like it, it's just so unpredictable if your arm is angled at a certain angle, like they shoot into your tracks, which is just hilarious. <laughs> I mean, he was pretty lucky to ricochet that if you penned him, probably would have been GG. Maybe I don't know what the max damage on that tank is, but I'm just screaming at Trey, trying to like talk him through it and help him, <laughs> screaming at him to kill the fucking M4 before he fires him again. And I'm at this point, I'm like, you've ammo out because he hasn't shot back. And he goes for the T3485, who is stuck. Well, that's just the T-34, sorry. There's the T-3485. I tell him to go for the Sherman. And I mean, he's just, did, like, how good he's doing now. Like, I mean, I've seen this kid play games where he just, he just gets a sudden rush for, like, shit to the brains and doesn't know what to do. And at this point, he's just, like, strafing back and forward, you know, dodging all the shadows in. I mean, just, like, completely just <laughs> don't know what the fuck they're doing. And boy, is it hilarious. And I tell him to just rush that guy, I'm like, yeah, fuck it, just go for it, bro. I mean, because he's got a howitzer, I believe, as well, and he is not firing back. And 
And he gets that kill, and then I'll just say to him, you're one of the, you're one of the fucking Top Gun, dude. Try and get a kill. And then he's just there literally, like, screaming and bouncing around, because it's his first ever one, you know. It's a pretty exciting thing. You think, oh, shit, my first Top Gun. I mean, it's always exciting when you get a Top Gun. Whenever I get one now, it always someone always takes the kill at the last second. And when I almost got one of my Matilda before, the uh, tank behind me killed me. I was pretty angry with that, but, hey. And God knows what this tier 5's done the entire game. He all of a sudden just decides, hello, and then just rams the tier 1 heavy. It's like, what are you doing? And that retard Halcat. It's just... I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Right now, there's only the Wolverine left, and the FE3 are full. Right now, Trey is crewing on 181 HP, 1600 damage, 21 hits. And I'm really resisting the urge to sneeze right now. It's doing my head in. <laughs> he ended up shooting his teammate there. <laughs> you gotta remember about accuracy and stuff. These guns aren't very accurate. And he shot on the wall because of lag. And he didn't realise his guns on the ground yet. And then he got the kill. I mean, if he didn't get that shot off perfectly at that time, he would have rammed the T1 Heavy and lost the top gun. You know, it's hard to say, did Trey carry the game? Yes and no, because I mean, he did have a lot of his team left to help him, but yeah, he did pretty much stop all them guys. Them guys could have gone around and killed the rest of the team. But yeah, this is the replay in the Type 234, which is the Japanese, Chinese, Japanese, one of the two. It's Chinese, tier 6, medium. Tier 5, medium. I will, I will remember it eventually. But yeah, that's it for this replay. For now, I will show you the post-game results in just a few minutes. Right then, so, this is the post-game results. You can see he practically shot more, or well, half the team, if not more. It was a pretty crazy game. He obviously killed six of them, you know, he shot the crap out of them. You can see from the M4 Sherman, where is he? Did he hammer rack him? Well, it doesn't tell you, does it? I completely forgot about that. But yeah, you got Master Badge, you got the crappy little fire for effect room, Bruiser, and Duelist. But the main badge is Master Badge and Top Gun. He made 34 grand from this with a premium account, 1700 XP. With a premium account, he came. I don't. I don't remember. He came top on damage. He did king. He did come top on damage. Sorry, but if if it wasn't for these two players, Trey and uh, that Derebino guy, probably would have lost that game. I mean, I did four hundred in that crappy little light tank, which is still decent. Yeah, that's it for this replay. We'll be recording some more replays in just a few minutes because I do have a captain more to do. But that's it for this replay, and I'll see you guys next time.